What is up guys? Do you guys want to win these white Zombas? All you got to do is subscribe, turn on notifications by clicking the bell, like the video, and comment down below why you want to win. Make sure to include your PC username, your PSN, or your Xbox gamer tag so I can give the prize to the correct winner. That is it guys. Thank you so much for watching and let's jump right into this video. What is up guys? Savage Planet here. I hope you're having a great day. So today in this video, I want to talk about the overdrive crate and I want to give you kind of an early look of uh, what it could look like. We know it's coming to the game today in about 12 hours. So very excited. I know you guys are all excited. So before I start this video though, I want to give a huge shout out to Jakers. Uh, he's a Rocket League YouTuber. He makes absolutely amazing content. Um, either daily uploads or very, very close to daily uploads as well as streams. He actually made these graphics um, that I'm going to be responding to. I hit him up on Twitter and Discord and I asked him if I can make a review video and what my thoughts were on it. And he said, absolutely, my man. I talk to him all the time. He's a really good guy. So if, I'll put his link in the description. If you have not subbed to him yet, make sure you do. He's a really awesome guy and a really awesome Rocket League YouTuber. All right, guys, so let's start with the original image that Jakers made. So if you look at this, obviously the first thing you see is the Mystery Universal explosion uh, which, with kind of the fireworks graphics in the background. We're going to wait to talk about that until the very end. Let's just start with the rares really quick. So the one rare that we know for sure is coming is the rare paint finish, which is glossy blocks. Now we know, like furry, this is a paint finish, so it's going to be universal. You can use it on any car. And, uh, I mean, I personally... I really like how it looks. Um, I think it's better than the furry. It kind of has that like Rubik's feel, kind of puzzly feel uh, to it, and I I actually really enjoy it. I like it. Um, I'm glad they made the paint finish a rare this time because when you look at the furry, it's just no one cares about the furry at all. They only care about the other imports. Usually, imports are best for like import cars, import trails, or maybe an import wheel. Um, having an import paint finish, unless it's like the greatest paint finish in the world, it's just a little weird. Uh, the value of it is much lower than all the other imports. So that being said, let's move on to the very rare. So the very rare, the one that we know for sure is coming, is the friction trail. As you guys probably already know, the the tire trails are a new thing, a uh, new customization that's coming to Rocket League. Our season four rewards are going to be trails. So again, pretty exciting. It looks pretty good, but it also looks pretty standard. I'm sure there's going to be way better ones. Uh, the platinum, even the silver one kind of looks better than that, in my opinion. But it makes sense for a very rare. So let's move on to the import, guys. This is when it starts getting good. So we know we're getting two import battle cars, the Animus GP and the Sentio V17. We also know that these will come painted just like the Endo and the Mantis. So again, those painted battle cars, especially in Titanium White and Crimson and Forest Green, those are going to go for like top dollar, top key value. So if you can get your hands on a painted Animus or a painted Sentio at the beginning, uh, I would honestly sell it for keys right away because those are going to be like super sought out after. So another thing that's going to be an import is the Magic Trail. Uh, we have, we've had a really good look at this in the stuff that Rocket League has posted and we also know that this will come painted. So again, another painted import. That's three painted imports which is really awesome and uh, yeah. That is it for the imports, guys. Let's move on to the exotics. So when it comes to the exotics, we know for sure about one exotic wheel, and that is the turbine. We've had a great look at it, and we've even had looks at the painted variations that Rocket League has posted. But we don't know for sure what the second exotic wheel is going to be. Now, Jakers posted a picture of like three possible exotic wheels that could be the second exotic, but he picked the one on the left, and he called it the spinner wheel. I personally think, and this is when this is the one time I disagree with them, I personally think it's going to be the middle one, the one that kind of looks like a fidget spinner. I made a video on it like a week back about fidget spinner wheels coming to Rocket League. I think it's going to be the fidget spinner wheel that comes to Rocket League as an exotic in the overdrive crate. It just makes sense. It makes sense that, you know, the fidget spinner basically took over the world for a couple of months, and it just makes sense that Rocket League would come out with a fidget spinner wheel as an exotic wheel. It also makes sense from a painted variance. Uh, the one on the left, I don't think painted would be very exciting, but the fidget spinner wheel, as I call it at least, painted that would look actually pretty good. So 
That's why I think that's going to be the second exotic. So now it's the time you've all been waiting for, the Mystery Universal Explosion. Jakers did literally an amazing job with this art. Because um, the question is, how are they going to show it? You know, we have the little hexed pattern blanket that's over the car for Mystery Decals. But for Mystery Goal Explosion, how is that animation going to be? Are we going to have a goal in the background with a blanket over it? You know, like, are we going to have a ball with a blanket over it? Are we going to have nothing? There might be no animation in the background. So... That's the question, um, and Jakers did a really cool thing here. He kind of put like an explosion in the background, like all purpley. Uh, kind of looks like fireworks, but he kind of made it more of a mystery. And uh, he also, and I'll show you this picture too, he also posted what it's going to look like in an actual crate. And um, yeah, it just looks absolutely great. We know, guys, if you guys don't know this already, instead of having mystery decals in this overdrive crate, we're going to have mystery goal explosions, which I think is a great idea. It's something new. It's something super awesome. And the three that we know that are coming are a big fiery face explosion, an ice explosion, and a firework explosion. I personally think that there's there might be a fourth one that we don't know about yet because it's very rare that Rocket League announces all of their items of a certain quality. Um, and kind of like spoils it, you know? And when we first started having crates, we started having four mysteries. So I think that there's gonna be a fourth one that we don't know about, but you know what? We'll just have to see later on tonight. So yeah, guys, all of these photos were made by Jakers to kind of give you an early look, so make sure you sub to him. I know I already told you to sub to him at the beginning, but I'll tell you now one more time. His link is in the description. Make sure you check him out. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure you like and sub. We're doing a huge stream tonight for July 5th for the update. We're going to be opening Overdrive Crate, so if you haven't subbed, uh, make sure you do. We also do daily streams, daily uploads, as well as tons of giveaways and sub games. As you guys know, we're giving away the White Zombas, so for no other reason, you should be subbing for that. Um, that is it, guys. I look forward to streaming tonight. Hopefully, I'll see you there, and have a great day. Peace out.